for anyone who hasn't seen these videos before, as I go through my month, I set myself goals. They can be word-based or time-based, and then I write everything up at the end of the month into this notebook. This particular notebook has been going since 2019, and it's about to come to an end, so I'm going to have to find a new one. I set myself a very small goal of every 20 minutes worked, I earn one star. And then for every 10 stars I earn, I earn the right to trade that in at the end of the month to buy myself one more book to read. I chose time-based because I'm working on revisions and edits. Now I start writing them, transferring them from my spreadsheet. The start to the month was quite rocky because I've ended up having to move out and I needed to save up all my energy for the taxi journey. Ah, my first gold star. Not bad. Any time I attempt work but don't reach the amount required, the word count goal or time based, if it's not enough for a star, I give myself a smiley face for the attempt. Forty-two, yay, my first double star day. Just to get rid of that. Now we start a new sheet of stars. This was my most impressive day by far. It was a time when I realised that I would be turning 30 in a couple of days and I knew I wanted to take some days off of writing. So I panicked and tried to make up for the lack of writing I knew would happen. Got five stars needed. And I've got them. Yep, that's it. And a tenth star. That's one more book to me. Another quick check. And there we go again. Another tenth star. Brilliant. Lots of new reading material to keep me going. I checked on my Amazon wish list. I actually have over 70 books waiting to be earned to buy, not counting what I already have on my Kindle and Audible as a backlog to listen to and fan fictions. Here you can see my work has slowed down immensely. I had a conversation with my physiotherapist who treats me for fatigue and she recommended that I put my work on hold for the next couple of weeks until I get myself back home and settled in again and I can build myself up. It's a very long time though to go without writing and I have broken that no writing rule a couple of times for therapy outlet reasons.
just doing some quick maths. And that's 470 minutes worked, just under 8 hours and 2 new books. Considering I really pulled back from writing this month, I'll take that thank you. And now to start my spread for the next month. And as I've said before, this book is coming to an end. I'm going to have to find a new notebook now to start writing in. But for now, that's it for me as I continue to write my story. One day at a time. <laughs>